at the giant springs of the Missouri. The Lewis and Clark expedition came through Great Falls on their voyage up the Missouri River, and Captain William Clark was the first European American to see the springs in June of 1805. We'll be hearing from him later, so make sure to tune in. He said that the springs were some of the biggest he's ever seen. The Native Americans have been using the springs for thousands of years before the Europeans got here as a winter camp and a source of fresh water year round. So Lewis and Clark certainly weren't the first people to see the springs. The giant springs produce 156 million gallons of fresh water per day. That's about enough water every day for the population of Montana to use for their personal needs for almost two days. All year round, the water comes out at 54 degrees. That means in the winter, when it's super cold out, the springs produce lots of steam and make the park look extra beautiful. The water from the springs is bottled by the Source Giant Springs Water Company, so lots of people can drink it and use it. We drink it down here in the ranger station every day. The water in the giant springs comes from the Little Belt Mountains, which some of you may have been to. They're about 30 miles away from Great Falls. In the mountains, the water seeps into the ground when it melts and goes through something called an aquifer, which is a layer of rock that can carry the water. The type of rock that the water travels through to get to the giant springs is called limestone. It takes 26 years for the water to get from the little belts to the giant springs. That means the water coming out of the giant springs today started its journey underground in the mountains in 1994, and the water melting in the mountains right now won't get here until 2046. Next to the Giant Springs is the Roe River, which is famous for being one of the shortest rivers in the world. In 1989, a Great Falls fifth grade class got the Roe River into the Guinness Book of World Records as the shortest river in the world at 201 feet long. This was later taken out of the record book, but it brought a lot of attention to the tiny river, which connects the Giant Springs to the Missouri River. Both the Giant Springs and the Roe River help attract lots of visitors to Giant Springs. Did you know that Giant Springs State Park is the most visited state park in Montana? We get almost half a million visitors every single year.